Hello. So today we're going to talk about containerization on iOS, what it is, how we do it, and why you should use it. So containerization is the ability to put a boundary either around personal data or work data. And you can do this on a fully managed device or a BYOD enrolled device. But don't we already have this with Android Work Profile and user enrollment? Well, yes, but the user experience can be actually constrained by these two enrollment types. And sometimes it's better to have containerization on a fully managed device because you are completely in control of the experience. So how do we actually do this? Let's go over to the dashboard, click settings and click add profile in the top right hand corner. We'll make sure this is a device profile. We'll give this a name such as iOS managed open in container. We'll put this for no devices for the moment and click add settings and click on restrictions. We'll scroll down and you'll see that we've got do not containerize work data and contacts from unmanaged apps. Do not containerize personal data and contacts from managed apps, which is the opposite. We can also allow for contacts to go to and from managed and unmanaged applications and accounts. So let's click save. Now, what does this actually look like? Go over to our device and you'll see that, that we have some restrictions on our device, which tell you exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to go over to my personal email and you'll see that I have an attachment here. So let's open this and you can see that I can save it. I can add it to notes, mail, copy to books, etc. But if we compare that with a work, a managed account, we'll click on the PDF again and you can see that everything is different. I'm really constrained with what I can actually do. So there we go. Thank you.